Today we're going to be showing you the complete beginner's guide on how to use Alexa by Amazon. This video is going to show you how to set up your smart device. It's going to go through all of the different Alexa features and ultimately we are going to show you everything you need to know to become an Alexa expert. Let's get started with today's video, the complete beginner's guide on how to use Amazon's Alexa. Once you get your Echo Dot out of its box, let's go ahead and get it set up. So the first thing you're going to need to do to set up your Echo Dot is download the Amazon Alexa app. So on your smart device, open up the app store and search Amazon Alexa. Then scroll down until you find the Amazon Alexa app and go ahead and get that downloaded. Once you get the Amazon Alexa app downloaded to your smart device, open that up and type in your Amazon account information. Once that is into the app and you have your Echo plugged into its power source, then go ahead and click the yes option for do you want to set up a device. So then after that, as it tells you on the application, you're going to need to make sure you have your Bluetooth toggled on. So if you're using an iPhone, you can just swipe down to your control center and then click the Bluetooth icon enabling your Bluetooth connections. Once that's turned on, it's going to automatically start searching for your Echo Dot. And you can see it found the Echo Dot right away. So once it's located, just click continue and we can start setting up our device. So you'll see it says to press and hold the action button on your Echo Dot until it turns orange. So that button is located on the back of your Echo and just press and hold that You'll notice that the status light down on the bottom of your Echo is going to turn orange to show you that you have correctly pressed that action button. Once you do that, you can click continue down here on the bottom right corner of the application. And now it's going to ask you to set up your Wi-Fi network. So once you set up your Wi-Fi through the Amazon Alexa app and your Echo Dot is connected to a power source, it's going to do the rest of the work for you. And now you can see my Echo Dot is connected. So just click continue. And now we can select which room that we're going to keep our Echo Dot located in. So select whichever room you would like. You'll see you have so many options to choose from. I'll just do the kitchen for mine and then you're going to be taken to this next page for setup. So select who you are, you can type in your name, your last name, or however you want your uh, Alexa to recognize you as, but type in your name there, click continue. Sorry, I thought I heard my name. And once you click continue, it's going to uh, just ask you these permissions by uh, Amazon, so you can either set that up later or just click allow. And now you're going to teach Alexa your voice. So a voice profile enables Alexa to learn your voice, call you by name, and provide enhanced personalization. So I'm going to go ahead and get mine set up, and I suggest you do the same. So now that we have set up our voice recognition with Alexa, the next option we have on the setup page is if you would like to give your location to your Echo Dot. So if you want to tell the address on which you're going to have your Echo Dot set up at, your Alexa is going to be able to give you local weather, traffic information, and so many more things that are based off of your geographical location. So if you would like to give access to your location, just go ahead and enter a new address here or you can just skip this option by clicking skip. So you'll see here coming soon, you can help find things with sidewalk. So you can help your neighbors find pets and different important items connected to this feature called sidewalk by sharing the approximate location of this device. So this is another great feature that comes along with you giving permission to your Echo Dot's location and you have the choice to enable this or to just set it up later. 
after that, your setup is now complete and we can get started with showing you all the different ways we can use Amazon's Alexa. So let's get started. Now, since your Echo Dot is an incredible smart speaker, I wanna show you how you can set up your favorite music services so they're linked directly to your Alexa application. So if you open up your Alexa application and you go to the home tab, you're going to see this option to link music services. Now, once you click that, you'll see there's already a few options set up like Amazon Music, Apple Music, iHeartRadio, and TuneIn. But if you're subscribed to a different service or you have a favorite music service that is not one of these four options, it's no problem. Just click this link new service button and you'll see you have all of these other options that you can set up right on your Alexa application. Choose whichever ones that you want to set up and it's just going to ask you to type in your login uh, credentials and then right away that music service is going to become paired to your Alexa application. You can set up multiple services here. So you'll see I have four set up. So go ahead, set up as many as you would like. And now with just using your verbal commands or using the app directly, you can access all of these incredible music services right from your Echo Dot using Alexa. Our Echo Dot is capable of being a completely hands-free device because we can activate it at any point just by using our voice. Anytime we need to activate our Echo Dot to ask a question or give a command, all you need to do is say Alexa. Right away, this blue status light is going to turn on, showing you that your Echo Dot is actively listening and ready to answer any questions or take, a, take any commands. Now I'm going to be showing you all of the incredible capabilities of our Echo Dot, but let's start off by asking the device itself what it can do. So Alexa, what can you do? I have a lot to offer. I can help with morning activities, relaxation, education, entertainment, health and fitness, and more. Which would you like to explore? So as Alexa just told us, our Echo Dot is capable of so many different great things. To name a few more, you can access your music and audiobooks, get sports, weather, and traffic updates. You can even order from Amazon using Alexa voice commands or access your phone's contacts and do touch-free calling and texting. There's just so many incredible features using our Echo Dot. Let's try one of them out by asking Alexa a random question. Alexa, how many cups are in a gallon? One gallon is 16 cups. And you'll see right away, just by activating our Echo Dot using the voice command Alexa and then asking it a completely random question, right away, Alexa has the answer. If you have your Echo Dot set up in a bedroom, it works tremendously well as an alarm clock and you can also customize some other bedtime and wake up routines that I'm going to show you how to access now. So if we open up our Amazon Alexa application and scroll down on the home tab to where you find uh, in quotes, Alexa good night, we can click create routine here and what we're going to do is set up a bedtime routine that we can access using an Alexa command. So let's open that up. And right away, you'll, you'll see that you can type in when you say Alexa, good night, Alexa will do an action. So you can change this to uh, whatever you want. Uh, just you can do Alexa, it's time for bed. And now when I say Alexa, it's time for bed, it's going to complete this list of actions. So by default, it has it uh, set up. So your Alexa is going to respond with good night and then automatically open up these sleep sounds. So it's music, which is going to be good to help you fall asleep. But you can take this even further by opening up this add action tab. And you'll see you can add all of these actions, which will be activated every time you say, Alexa, it's time for bed. If you have any smart home devices, like say uh, smart lighting, you can actually set that up by hitting this smart home tab. So you can make it so when you say, Alexa, it's time for bed, Alexa will automatically dim or turn off your lights. You can customize all of that and more by adding custom actions right there. 
So that's really it. After you have that set up the way you like it, just click this enable button. And now whenever you say that command, Alexa is going to complete those actions. So it's success. It says it may take up to a minute for the voice routines to activate, but now that it took me back to this page, that means it's all set and ready to go whenever I say that command when it's time for bed. Now, if you scroll down a little further to where it says wake up with a, with a laugh, we can actually set up a custom alarm noise uh, for our Echo Dot to wake us up in the morning. So let's click set alarm and you'll see I don't have any set yet. So if we click this plus button to add an alarm, you know, set it at whatever time you would like and then choose the device you want it to go uh, off on. So if you have your Echo Dot set up in your bedroom, just select your Echo Dot, but you can also use the Alexa application on your iPhone or whatever smartphone you are using if you don't have an Echo Dot set up in a bedroom. But for now, I'll set mine up for the Echo Dot itself. And then you can choose if you want it to repeat each day or weekly or however you would like. You have that option by clicking on this repeat tab. And then you can set the date. So if you want it to go off tomorrow, just set that date accordingly. And now we have a lot of different options for alarm clock noises. So have fun with these, listen to the different options you have and choose whichever one you like. Or you can set up a custom one by using uh, these Alexa commands. So you'll see here, there's you can have Disney characters, you know, by asking Alexa to wake me up to to the Disney characters alarm tone. There's musical elements, minions, premium bird sounds, nature sounds, and so much more. So get familiar with these and then choose your favorite alarm tone, which will go off whenever you set it. Once you have that set up, just click save. And now just like that, we have a custom alarm set up as well as a bedtime routine. I want to take a quick break from our video to invite you to join this incredible application that's giving out millions of cash prizes just for answering quick and easy surveys. So if you want to start earning real cash today just by taking these simple surveys, use the link in our, in our description or go to bit.ly slash get quick thoughts. That's B-I-T dot L-Y slash G-E-T-Q-U-I-C-K-T-H-O-U-G-H-T-S. Now, using this link is going to help support our channel, but more importantly, it's going to make sure that you get access to their best surveys that pay out the greatest rewards. Now, using that link is going to take you directly to the App Store, and if you look down here, you can see just some examples of the incredible, easy and simple surveys that are paying out real cash rewards. So go ahead, download Quick Thoughts, and then on the bottom left corner, click Sign Up, and it's a really fast and easy process to get signed up for Quick Thoughts, and then right away, you're going to be able to start answering these surveys and being rewarded with real cash rewards. So again, the link's down in the description, or go to bit.ly slash getquickthoughts to start earning real cash for taking easy surveys today. Now I'm going to show you how you can link and connect your smartphone to your Echo Dot, which allows you to do hands-free calling and hands-free texting, along as many other great integrations between your phone and your Echo Dot. So let's open up our Amazon Alexa application and go to where it says devices on this bottom menu here. Now click on your Echo Dot device, and then once that's open, you'll see that under wireless, uh, you can click on this Bluetooth device option right here. Now I'm gonna shut off my Bluetooth so I can start this process over from the beginning. And now once you have these Bluetooth settings open, you'll see that you can select pair a new device. So you can set this up to connect to a Bluetooth speaker if you want a louder sound system than your Echo Dot provides. But for right now, I'm gonna show you how to connect your smartphone to your Echo Dot. So let's click pair new device. And now my Echo Dot is searching for a Bluetooth connection. So now that it's searching, I'm gonna leave this application, go to my phone settings, go to Bluetooth, and you'll see that my Echo Dot is now showing up here. Now I'll just click that, and automatically my phone is now connected to my Echo Dot. Connect it to iPhone. Now that you're paired, next time just say, connect my phone. 
And as you just heard, your Echo Dot is going to remember this Bluetooth device and it's going to stay connected until I go back into these settings, click on the paired device and ask it to disconnect the device. One of the key advantages that the Amazon Alexa has over its competitors is its ability to download custom skills from the skills and game marketplace. So if you open up the Amazon Alexa application, go to this more tab and open up skills and games, you're going to see brands have uploaded thousands of different skills that you can download onto your Alexa device. For example, if you want to be able to call Uber rides using voice commands on your Echo Dot, all you need to do is download the Uber skill and right away you'll be able to start accessing your Uber account from your Alexa Echo Dot. So you'll see I search in Uber and right away it comes up here. Now if you want to add that skill to your Echo Dot, just click this launch button then it's going to ask you to put in your personal credentials to link up your Uber account with your Echo Dot. And then right after that's done, you're going to be able to ask Alexa to ask Uber to request a ride or ask Uber to call me an UberX from work, et cetera, et cetera. But ultimately the skills in games marketplace is an incredible feature because it gives you limitless options for different skills and games that your Alexa can learn and start utilizing. Lastly, I'm going to walk you through all of your key device settings so you know how to set up your Echo Dot to suit your exact preferences. So if you open up the Alexa application, go to devices and select your Echo Dot, it's going to open up your device settings menu. So right up top here, we can adjust our volume. You know, you could also just do it on the Echo Dot itself, but if you ever want to adjust the volume from your phone or from your Alexa application, you can do that with this sliding bar here. And alternatively, you can also adjust the bass, mid-range, and treble under these audio settings here if you ever want to make adjustments to any of those equalizers. So next, if you ever want to change the Wi-Fi network so you move locations, you'll just click this change button under Wi-Fi network under the wireless settings and you'll be able to automatically connect to your new Wi-Fi connection. You can connect, so I showed you how to connect your Echo Dot to your phone. You can also connect this to a stereo or a subwoofer, as well as the different Alexa gadgets that are for sale. So if you ever want to connect to a different Bluetooth device, you'll just follow the same steps we did for, for our smartphone, but select either the stereo pair option or the Alexa gadget option. The next setting, tap gestures, is one I suggest you leave turned on. And all it does is it allows your Echo Dot to recognize touch. So say you have an alarm clock going off, a single tap on your Echo Dot is going to snooze that alarm. If you want to disable tap gestures, just click that button and it will toggle to disabled and click it again and it will re-enable those tap gestures. Under the sounds uh, settings tab, you have all of these options here. So you can change your alarm clock uh, tone. You can change the noise that gets set off on a notification. So it's either the default tone or you can just set up no noise for when you get a notification. Uh, you can decide if you want incoming call ringer notifications as well as these different request sounds. Uh, and also you can change the amount of volume that is going to play for those different notification noises. So if I change this volume, it's not going to adjust the volume for the other capabilities of our Echo Dot. So say if you're listening to music, it's not going to change the volume by changing this. It's only going to change the volume for the different uh, alarm noises. So for these different notification noises. You can also select uh, to gradually increase alarm volume. I know this helps me a little bit getting up in the morning. So if you want your alarm to get louder as it goes off until you shut it off, you can do that by toggling that setting to on. Free time is a wonderful feature if you have children and it just allows you to set up different free time accounts for your different children, which allows you to pause their devices, set daily time limits on the amount of time they're using their Echo Dot, and then you can add and block different and various content on your child's free time device. So if you want to turn that on, just go to that free time tab and then enable it here. 
If you ever want to put your echo dot in do not disturb mode, you can do that on this menu by manually toggling that on there. And you'll notice when I go into do not disturb mode, my status light will turn uh, purple for a second just to show me that I'm not going to be getting any notifications besides my alarms and timers that I may have set. Now, if you want to schedule uh, your Echo Dot to go into Do Not Disturb mode automatically, say at nighttime, if you don't want notifications, you can do that by setting up a schedule here and you can just choose whatever time frame uh, you want your Echo Dot to be in Do Not Disturb mode. Then this next one, the wake word, is you can change the the word or phrase that you're saying to your Echo Dot to activate it. So earlier we showed you the default wake word, which was Alexa. So whenever you say Alexa, it's going to activate your Echo Dot. But for any reason, if you would like to change that, you have the option of Amazon computer or Echo to become your wake word. So you'll just select it like so, uh, click OK, and that will be the new wake word. Also, if you want to change the measurements, the default is going to be Fahrenheit for temperature and miles for distance, but you can go into this settings tab here and choose either Celsius or kilometers if you want to make an adjustment for your measurement units. So that's the most important device settings you want to become familiar with. So go get your Echo device set up exactly to fit your preferences and you should be good to go to be using your Echo Dot like an expert. Now, I want to take the time to quickly invite you to join our email newsletter, AppFind VIP, where we're going to be sending you the best mobile apps and mobile games directly to your email inbox each week. So to sign up, either use the link down in the description or just go to AppFind, AppFindVIP.com and we can get you signed up right away. Once you're signed up for AppFind VIP, you're automatically going to be entered into our AppFind giveaways where we're giving away free iTunes and Google Play gift cards to lucky winners every single month. So once you're on appfindvip.com, just enter your name, enter your email, and then you can choose if you want to get just the best mobile apps, just the best mobile games, or both sent directly to your email inbox. It's completely free to join, and we can't wait to have you inside our email newsletter, AppFind VIP. Show five off and running. Here are three things to try first. Number one, use your voice. You could say something like, Alexa, play happy music. Okay, here's a station you might like. 80s pop on Amazon Music. Number two, try using the touchscreen. Number three, choose your perfect clock face. To get started, say, Alexa, customize my clock. This is just the beginning of things you can do with your Echo Show 5. For more things to try, just ask, Alexa, what can I say? Welcome to your new Echo Show 5. Now let's go in and go through all of the different settings that we can set up to our preference. So again, if you slide down on the display screen, click the settings tab, we are now at our settings menu. So if you want to connect your Echo Dot to a Bluetooth device, such as your phone uh, or to a Bluetooth speaker, you just select this Bluetooth button here and you, it's going to start searching uh, for a Bluetooth connection. Right now I have no Bluetooth devices in range, so nothing's showing up, but you would just toggle your Bluetooth device on and select that button, and it's going to appear on your screen to make that Bluetooth connection to a, a separate device. Now, if you ever move and you need to change your Wi-Fi network, you'll just select this button, and then you can change your Wi-Fi network accordingly. Now, if we open up this home and clocks tab here, this is where we have access to our home page and our clock settings. So to, to customize your clock and home screen appearance, we'll click this button here and you'll see that you have a lot of different options. So your recent clock settings will appear on this tab. If you want to access personal photos, you can select this and you can, you know, choose the background photo that you want to show as well as the clock face 
if you wanted to show the date and show the weather. So that's using your personal photos. Now you can play around with the different wallpapers they have chosen for you. So there's four options under wallpaper. And then we can go to more preset uh, displays for our screen. So these are the modern ones. There's five different options here. Now they also have uh, more playful options. So if you select that tab, you'll see the nine playful options on this menu. And we can go back and they have a photography option, which has six different options. And then lastly, they have some more classic wallpaper options. So you just select that and there's four options here. So go through, choose whichever one you like the most and you can always go back and adjust that by using that home and clock settings tab. Now, once you pick one you like, we can actually customize this even further by hitting this edit icon right here. Once that's selected, we can choose these background settings here so we can have it cycle through different uh, backgrounds or you can set one of these to always remain on. So that's how you adjust the background. If we go back, go back into this edit tab, now we can start to edit our clock face. So there's six different options here. And again, just choose whichever one you like the most. Once you have that chosen, just click this check mark and it's going to save that update and take you back to this settings tab. We can choose if we want it to show the date, which appears right there underneath your clock. So if you want it to show the date, you'll just toggle that button to on. When blue, that means that particular setting is enabled. And when the blue color goes away and it becomes white, that means whichever setting you're on is disabled. So choose if you want the date or not, and then we can even show the weather. So as long as you have your location set up, you can toggle this setting to blue, which means it's on, and it's going to show the weather on your display screen. Now, if we go back and leave this clock and wallpaper uh, settings tab, the next option for home and clock is home content. So you can choose if you wanted to display which uh, Echo devices are active, if you wanted to show your calendar events, any communications like calling, messages, announcements, uh, and then you can have it show you more features available with Alexa. So if you're just getting started with your Echo Show, it's great to have this discovery on because it's just going to give you new ways that you may not have already known about for using your Alexa voice assistant. Now you also have drop-in, final scores, helpful hints during COVID-19, news, notifications, different photo highlights. So it's going to show slideshows from your personal Amazon photos. You can have it display popular recipes, things that are just trending and popular on, on Alexa. It will even suggest content from Prime Video or show you recently played music, which when that's on, you'll, you'll be able to just select that song that you recently listened to and it will start playing again. You can have it show your reminders photos that are shared with you. You can have skills set on, which I definitely suggest you turn on and I'll show you, you know, all the different ways we can use these Amazon skills later in the video. You can get stock updates, trending topics, upcoming games, video, weather alerts. You can see there's just so many different options here. So go around and set that up however you want your home content to appear. Again, to toggle any of these settings on or off, you just select this button right here. And when it's blue, that means it's enabled. And when it's white, that means it's disabled. Now going back, we can go to this night mode setting, settings tab here. If you want to show a dim version of your clock at nighttime, just enable that. Uh, but if you don't want the nighttime clock, then you can disable it accordingly. Now you can schedule what time you want your nighttime mode to be activated on. So I suggest you just leave it to automatic. So that's just going to base it on the available light. But if you're in a room with consistent lighting, then you can schedule the time by selecting the scheduled button. And then you can adjust what time you want it to start and end by just clicking on these and then using this clock here to choose which time you want uh, your night mode to be active on.
Now, if you want it to be a 24 hour clock, like military time, you'll just enable this on like so, and it will switch to a 24 hour clock. Now, if we leave the home and clock uh, settings, the next is going to be our display. So first, if you wanna use a photo slideshow, you can go and adjust your different slideshow settings on this tab. The brightness you can control from this, this display, but again, if you just slide down from the display screen, you have quick access to your brightness here. Now, adaptive brightness will automatically adjust the brightness based off of the available light. So if you wanted to automatically adjust your brightness, just toggle that to on. And then you have this great sunrise effect here, which I also suggest you leave on. And that's going to display a gradual sunrise-like lighting between or beginning 15 minutes before your alarm is set for. So that's a great feature I always leave on. Now there's a sound settings tab. This free time setting is for uh, making your Alexa customized for children. So you can enable that by pressing this button here, and then you'll be able to customize uh, the ability of your Echo Show uh, for your child's device. Now keep going, we have this do, do not disturb settings tab, and this again will disable notifications. You can access do not disturb uh, using this drop down menu as we showed earlier, but if you want to schedule it to start or to automatically turn on do not disturb at a certain time, say while you're asleep, if you have it in your bedroom, you can go and set a scheduled time for do not disturb. Under communications, you know, we can just choose if we want it to announce an incoming call ringer. And then you can restrict access. Again, it's great if you have a child's device, but choosing this, you can restrict different content and different access to different uh, Alexa skills. So those are the main settings you want to become familiar with. And just go ahead and get that set up exactly to your preferences, but you can always go back and adjust and update those settings whenever you like, just by sliding down here and clicking this settings tab. Now I also want to show you what these different buttons do on this menu that appears when you swipe to the left on your display screen. So we have the communicate tab here where we can access our drop in announce a call message and then we can have our echo show display our contacts now from this menu we can access our smart home devices so if you have any smart home gadgets such as uh, lights or uh, a thermostat you can connect those using the bluetooth setting and then you'll be able to make adjustments to those smart home gadgets from that tab right here now for music, we can link our favorite music uh, services right to our Echo Show, including Apple Music or Spotify. Uh, so once those are connected, you'll be able to access your music right from this tab. And it's going to show your recently played songs or you can have it show your favorite playlist. Uh, but you can also use the verbal commands to ask Alexa to play certain music or certain playlists from whichever uh, music services you have connected to your Echo Show. We also have access to video here. So when you click that tab, it might take a second to open up here, but when you click that tab, you'll see you can link Prime Video, you can link Netflix, uh, and so much more from that video tab. So then all you'll need to do is click there and you can watch your favorite streaming services right from your Echo Dot. Now in this Routines tab here, we can actually set up different routines, such as a bedtime routine. So if that's set up, you can enable that there and that will automatically turn on your custom alarm clocks or have your Echo Dot say goodnight to you or play uh, bedtime music. So you can set up different routines from this tab here, or you can use verbal commands and have Alexa set up those routines for you. But again, to access your routines or edit them, you'll just click this button here. And then finally, we have alarms. So here's a quick way to go and check which alarms you have set up or to add a new alarm. So right here, we can adjust our time, our date, and then choose if we want this to repeat. So you can have a repeat daily, weekly, or on weekends. Um, but if you ever want to set an alarm, this is where you can do it. Or you can just use Alexa and use a verbal command to set up an alarm.
I want to take a quick break to invite you to join AppFind VIP, our email newsletter where we're sending out the best mobile apps and mobile games to be sent directly to your email inbox. Now, either use the link in the description or go to appfindvip.com. And once you're entered on our email list, you're automatically going to be entered into AppFind giveaways where we're giving out incredible gifts like iTunes gift cards and Google Play gift cards every single month. All you need to do is join our free email newsletter on appfindvip.com and you'll automatically be entered into our monthly giveaways. We can't wait to see you inside. Go to appfindvip.com or use the link in the description to join AppFind VIP today. Now I wanna show you how we can connect any Bluetooth device to our Echo Show. So if we go back to our settings tab on our Echo Show, by sliding down on the display screen, clicking the settings option, and then going into Bluetooth, your Echo Show is going to immediately go into uh, Bluetooth pairing mode. So you'll now see on whichever Bluetooth device you're using, so in my case an iPhone, on your Bluetooth menu, immediately that Echo Show is going to appear. Once you click that, it's going to automatically pair on your Echo Show and is now ready for use. So your Bluetooth connection is going to stay connected until you manually go in and either ask Alexa verbally uh, to disable that Bluetooth connection or you can just go back onto your other uh, Bluetooth device and manually shut off that Bluetooth connection. So once you get your Bluetooth devices connected and paired with your Echo Show, the abilities that you can use Alexa for are endless. So let me show you. So I have my phone connected uh, to my Echo Show. So now I can not only make phone calls, I could do video calls and text messages all through using our voice assistant. So let me show you a quick example. Alexa, call Sophie. You'll see, since it's paired to my phone, right away it's going to start making that phone call. I'm going to end that because I don't actually want to make the call. But if it went through, I'd be able to speak and have that phone call using the microphone on my Echo Show. To take that even farther, it can even do video calls. So if you're connected to your smartphone, if it's an iPhone, you can just ask uh, your voice assistant to FaceTime a contact and it's going to show the screen right on your Echo Show as well as using this front facing camera lens to record your face on that FaceTime call. Now for Bluetooth with your Echo Show, it's not just for your phone. You can connect to your smart home devices and then verbally ask your voice assistant to turn uh, your lights up or down or change the heat in your home. But really the opportunities are endless with the Bluetooth capabilities of our Echo Show. So make sure you go and you get all your smart gadgets connected to your Echo Show using the Bluetooth settings tab on your Echo Show device. Our Echo Show is capable of accessing web browsers. So you have two different web, web browsers installed on your Echo Show. We have Silk and then Firefox. To get to the internet or to your web browser, just ask Alexa, open Silk, and we'll be taken right to our web browser. So once you're in here, you can type in any URL. Now there is no YouTube skill already downloaded onto our Echo. So if you ever wanna access YouTube, just open up your web browser, type in YouTube, and it will take you right onto YouTube. And then you can watch videos right from here. Now we can set bookmarks by clicking this button here, and that is going to save YouTube or any URL into your bookmarks right here for quick access to any websites that you wanna store. Now, our web browsers are an incredible feature on our Echo Show just because it allows you to access certain sites like YouTube that we can't get to uh, from our home screen. And it's also how uh, your Alexa voice assistant is able to quickly find you answers to thousands of different questions that you might have for it. Now, as you can see, the options with our Echo Show are nearly endless. And of course, it's impossible for me to go over all of the different possibilities that you can use your voice assistant for. So I just wanna end this video by showing you one of my favorite skills or verbal commands that we can use our voice assistant for, and that is for cooking. So if you ever need to find a different recipe for almost any uh, item out there, you can just ask your voice assistant this. So Alexa, Alexa, 
How do I make cheese pizza? Okay, for pizza, here's a few recipes. So you'll see I'm now given all of these different pizza recipes, and once you find one you like, just select it. And now it's going to show you all of the different ingredients you need for that recipe, along with all the step-by-step -step instructions. Now they take this even further by allowing this option to add all of the ingredients instantly to your shopping list. So if you click that, it's going to add all of these ingredients right into your shopping list for the next time you go to the store. Now, if you want to save this recipe to refer to later on, click that save recipe button. And then lastly, my favorite feature is this continue recipe button. So when you click this, it's actually going to take you step by step through all of the different instructions for that recipe. So if I have this set up in my kitchen, I can start off on step one. And once I complete that step, just click next step and it's going to take you to the next step of the recipe. It will even show you these images that might help you along the way, and you can click on this tab to see the ingredients necessary for that one step of the recipe. It's a really fun feature, it's incredible, and it does help you because you just have instant access to all of the different recipes found on the internet along with their ingredients and their steps. I hope you found this video valuable on how to use Alexa and the Amazon Echo Dot. This was a complete beginner's guide on how to use the Amazon Echo Dot and Alexa to the best of their ability and should have gone over everything you need to know to make sure you're using your Echo Dot to its maximum potential. Let us know down in the comments what your favorite part of this video was. And if you did find this video valuable, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel for more great content coming out soon. I also want to encourage you to sign up for our email newsletter, AppFind VIP. This is where we're going to be sending you the best mobile apps and mobile games delivered to your email inbox. Once you're on our email list, you're automatically going to be entered into our app find giveaways where we're giving away iTunes and Google Play gift cards each and every month to our lucky winners. All you need to do is subscribe to our free email newsletter using the link in the description or going to appfindvip.com and you'll automatically be enrolled in our monthly giveaways. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day.